Hello everybody, this is Amel with another coding interview problem for you. And this time I'm going to show you how to solve the isomorphic strings problem. So given two strings, S and T, determine if they are isomorphic. Two strings are isomorphic if the characters in S can be replaced to get T. So for example, they give you as input S equals egg and T equals add. These two strings are isomorphic because, as you can see, there's a one-to-one -one mapping of every character in S to every character in, in T. So E can map to A, G maps to D, and G maps to D. So there's a one-to-one -one mapping. So the method that you write has to return true. In this case, it, the method should return false because there's not a one-to-one -one mapping from S to T. You can map F to B, that's fine. But then you map O to A, that's okay. But then when you map o, o to R, that's not okay because you already map O to A before. So that's not a one-to-one -one mapping. So you have to write a method to determine if they are isomorphic. So can you um, can the characters in S be replaced to get T? So how can we solve this problem? One way to solve this problem is to use a map for S and a map for T. So the map is going to contain um, the position of where you saw a character in S and the position where you saw a character in T. And you go from left to right in the strings and you get a corresponding character in each one and you check if you have seen it before, uh, if you map this character to a different character then you know immediately that this cannot be isomorphic because this is not a one-to-one -one mapping so without further ado I'm going to show you how to write the code so first I'm going to check if the reference is null or t reference is null I return false because that's not they cannot be isomorphic in that case also here they say that you may assume that both S and T have the same length. So you don't have to check if they have the same length because in order to be isomorphic, they have to have the same length. But in this problem, you may assume that they have the same length. In a real interview, you may want to check that they have the same length. So if or S that length is not the same as T that length, then you also return false because you know that if they don't have the same length, they cannot be isomorphic. So I'm going to have an array of integer, map 1 gets a value of new array of integer of size 256. So this is for the extended ASCII for all the letters, I'm going to have this array for, the, for S and also for T. So an array of integer m2 is file of new array of integer of size 256. That way I will be able to save the position. I will be able to map the characters in S to the characters in T and check every iteration if, if there's a one-to-one -one mapping. Integer n gets a value of s that length. So now I go for integer i gets a value of zero, i is less than n plus plus i. Alright. So first, if m wants, actually, I'm going to get the character c1 as a value of s that char at i, and char c2 as a value of the corresponding character in t. Then I'm going to check if m1 sub c1 is not the same as m2 sub c2 I can immediately terminate and return false because if the character c1 um, is not mapping to the same value as this character c2 then I know that there's not a one-to-one -one mapping and I can immediately return false and I'm done Otherwise, these two are fine, and I just have to record in my maps the position uh, where I saw, or the value where I saw these characters. So m1 sub c1 
que es el value of i plus 1 m2 sub c2 que es el value of i plus 1 and why am i why am i saying i plus 1 here well because initially this array is all zeros and this array is all zeros as well so i want to be able to distinguish whenever the values have been updated that means that i have seen the character at this position before initially everything is zero so i don't want to set any value to zero i want to set the value to starting from one and moving forward in the iteration so that way i can map every character in c1 to a value and every character in c2 to another value and if i check later that those characters um, have already been mapped then i know that that there's not a one-to-one -one mapping and i can simply return false if I was able to finish the entire for loop, I can return true at the end. So, I'm going to run the code. True, true. I'm going to submit the solution. Okay, so 6 milliseconds faster than 78.64% of Java Online submissions. So this solution is working perfectly. Please like the video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I, I forgot to mention that uh, the time complexity is big O of n, where n is the length of the string s. So please don't forget to subscribe. And uh, see you next time. Happy coding.